Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. So in this training, I'm going to speak a little bit about the costly mistakes I made when I started the notary business. And, you know, I, I made quite a few mistakes, but I would say these are the top four mistakes that I've made. So the first costly mistake that I made was the company I had registered with PayPal did not match the notary business. And let me explain what that means. So when I would run a person's credit card, you know, to do the transaction, when the person looked on their credit card statement or their bank statement, it did not read U.S. notary agency. It read a completely different company that I owned at the time, which was called Gullyware Systems. So when the client saw that the transaction said Gullyware Systems on the bank statement or credit card statement, they immediately called their bank or financial institution and had them reverse the charges, mm -hmm. which in turn, you know, they got their money back and I had no money for that transaction. Now, the consequence was I had to chase them back. I had to find their information, call them back and say, oh, no, that charge was correct. It just happened to be the wrong company that appeared on your credit card statement. That's a pain by itself. I'll let you know. So having to chase them to get your money back. Um, plus, you'll also get hit with fees. So one, if you're going to try to dispute it through PayPal or Stripe or whoever that you're using, they're going to hit you with a fee to dispute that that charge is correct. Also, if you do not have enough funds in that account, you'll also get hit with overdraft fees. So you definitely want to avoid getting hit with overdraft fees. Um, not only that, when the client, when you call a client back and you, you know, let them know that the transaction was done correctly, it just happened to be a different company that was on there, that makes you come across unprofessional. So the client is like, man, this doesn't even match the business that they actually are doing. Just imagine like you're paying something at Walmart, but it comes up ABC trucking, you know, something, it, it doesn't match and people like to see cohesiveness. So the way you combat that, uh, the resolution is just make sure that your payment gateway matches and reads 